Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? My name is Kyle, you know me as Dragonmar, and welcome to a new video. Today guys, we're going to be going over a VOD review, and a very special VOD. It's actually going to be fellow YouTuber XTR's gameplay. We're going to be going over everything about it, the good and the bad. I'm going to be talking about what could have been done differently, what was done well, and hopefully... This is a great way not only for him to improve, but also for all of the people watching to improve as well. Now, if you're looking for another good YouTuber to subscribe to, XTR makes some great videos, great guides, um, and some very funny videos as well. He's a great guy. Uh, definitely go check out his channel. Link will be in the description below. With that being said, let the roasting begin. And really quick, before the VOD review starts, guys, just so you know, XTR is doing a VOD review of my gameplay as well. So if you want to see me at my absolute worst and see what I could improve on, which I am eagerly awaiting as well, make sure you head over to his channel as well. The link to that video will also be in the description. Please go easy on me. All right, guys, we are going to be starting things off here. Um, XTR is playing, first of all, on attack on ascent. He is playing as Phoenix with a Jet, Sage, Brim, and Sova on his team. Going up against a Breach, Rays, Brimstone, Jet, and another Sage, of course. So, starting things off, he is focused over towards B. Uh, the problem in this round, I think, is that he just kind of gave up, or I'm not, I say he, but his team gave up uh, mid control really easily, and now they're getting pushed Sage from two different angles. Last and as you can see, when that happens, you just get overrun. Um, <laughs> it's really, really tough to win a scent without mid control. And I think you're going to see a lot of that uh, playing out throughout this game. All right, starting round two. Looks like XCR is going to be pushing mid here. Getting aggressive. He sees a player. Oh Unfortunately, runs into the smoke into a boom bot. And that was the end of that round. Um, that one's tough. You know, I like the aggression there. I, I really love getting aggressive in mid on ascent, especially with the smoke. Um, there's a lot of great plays you can make. You sort of smoke off cat, you smoke off min, you rush. Fortunately, that time the Rays was able to counter that pretty well. Um, but no, that was actually that was uh, a pretty good decision overall. Cool. Just, you know, the execution yeah, wasn't there. All right, so we're on round three right now. His, uh, his fellow Sage there, his teammate gets a nice opening pick. So they're up 5v4. So right now, what I would want to see is a little bit of aggression off of that pick. Um, I think that especially playing Phoenix, you know that you just got a good kill there. Why not try to make a play off of it? Um, have your team follow behind you. Instead, they choose to back off. Maybe they know something I don't. But whenever I see stuff like that happen in my games, I always want my Phoenix, I always want my Duelist to be going for those pushes, especially because XCR has those two flashes. Um, that's normally a great opportunity. You know, you have your team follow you in, you go for the open, you know, you, you either get the kill, the entry, or you trade it out. And either way, you're on site and you have control. Um, they've given the enemy team quite a bit of time here, despite taking mid control, which is great. Um, looks like the jet just pushed a little too far into an opper, uh, op on round three there. And now they're back into a 4v4, and they are not moving very fast. Another teammate goes down. And I think that this round is a really good example of what happens when you go a little too slow. Um, sometimes you just have to pick up the pace, especially in Valorant, where the... That was an interesting arrow. Where the enemy can move so quickly um, and get across the map so fast, depending on where they're playing. It's, you have to take advantage of sort of any oh, opportunity you get and just a little too slow here um, and, and another thing right there at the end right not being able to clear sight because they were running out of time another what? big reason you should try to pick up the pace all right so we're on round six right now um, looks like XCR right now at top mid he's got his vandal he's jumping through a molly taking damage goes for the shots down mid ends up dying to the sage um, Man, one thing I've learned from watching these, this VOD of XTR is that he likes to scope in uh, with the guns, with the rifles, which is very different than what I do. Um, I will try not to fault him for that, even though he is, you know, obviously of a you know lesser <laughs> status than me, of course. Nonetheless, though, his team kind of gets cleaned up there in mid, um, unable to win the duels. That's just what happens, uh, not just in this game, but particularly on this map. If you can't win the yeah, aim duels in mid, up, it's going to be very tough. Starting round eight here whole entire team towards b once again i'm going to say this again if you are not playing fast towards a site so if you're not playing fast towards a or b and your entire team is grouped up on ascent you are asking to get flanked you're asking to get cornered this stuff here very very dangerous way to play this map guys 
Um, if, if you're listening right now, one thing I would say is that it's super important you keep someone at least towards top mid just to help prevent um, any sort of flank from happening. Even even uh, them taking mid control and also watching Cat. It's so important to have that player top mid because what can happen right now is someone could be flanking all the way around from A or they could have complete mid control and you wouldn't even know it. Now, it looked like the um, his Sova there was playing that role, but still... Um, not having one not having anyone top mid Should is very very difficult um, nonetheless though they were able to take the site which is great uh, uh, the problem so there is that xtr was playing close to the smoke went for the flash oh. smoke faded and he flashed himself That's i good. like the idea once again lacking on execution but that was a very aggressive play um but very close to working out as well a little unfortunate Damn. there but his team ends up losing the round Empty. as well all right, bringing you in here on round nine now. Entire team once again grouped up towards A. I can tell XCR and his boys love playing together here. He's going to make his way onto site. Site is not clear. He's still going to tree. Jet dashes away. Jet CT. Enemy Breach just killed three people on site. And then kills XCR through the smoke for a 4K on the round. This is an example of uh, a sort of a situation where I wish XTR would have just focused purely on clearing site. The smokes by his brim were great. Um, he smoked off tree and heaven. So all they had to worry about was clearing site. And that's the one thing they didn't do there. XTR ulted with that ult. I would have loved to have seen him go hard into site with his teammates falling close behind. That way they're able to trade him out on his ult instead of trading someone else out for their actual life. Um, I really would have liked to have seen him play that one a little bit differently. I think that was, that was uh, ended up being a pretty bad decision there. XCR here playing towards A on round 10. Nice pick by the jet there. He's going to push in with his revolver. All right, moving towards tree now. He picked up a phantom. Wonderful. Sage walls it off. Let's see how he holds this now because now we're playing post plant 5v3 situation. Let's sort of see what he wants to do. All right, he's going to play in the corner by tree. That's fine. He's very much in the open now, though. If someone swings out of heaven, they're going to see him 100%. This is a little bit better using the generator block. Goes for the kill on in heaven on the raise. Ends up losing it, though. Um, that wasn't necessarily a bad play. Just his aim just did not do him any favors there. In this round in particular, I think that XTR would have been much better off actually running through site with his ult, allowing for his ult to be traded out for a kill. Um, I think that having those three teammates die to the breach on site was something that probably should have been avoided. I think the Brim smokes were very good. Um, in that situation there, I would have liked to have just seen him clear site uh, with that ultimate. All right, XTR here playing towards... B link and just absolutely gets destroyed by the rays this is an extremely dangerous position to play but also an important one so i understand why he's in here the problem is that when you are playing a raise on this map if she is known to be nading that area you have to be very careful it is so easy uh, to just kind of get stuck in there and die um if you guys ever find yourself in b link over here against an enemy raise just be very careful it's super easy to just take a huge chunk of your health or every single round oh from grenades. my god and in the end he actually ends up dying oh my god yeah, all right looks like the team is moving back uh towards a here on round 12 final round of the half down 2-9 um breach on site with the flash XTR moved to the right there. I, I'm, I'm wondering why he actually ran to the right and not to the left since the left was closer. Either way, moving out on the site, smokes are going down. Able to kill the breach on site. Good kill there. Took a little longer, I think, than he was hoping, but it is a bulldog. And up top is an LMG. It's a little headshot. Finishes her off through the wall. Going to use his, his uh, molly there to hopefully block off any sort of pushes from tree. Bomb is not down, though. Bomb is in the corner. Nice burst there. Finish that kill. All right, his teammate needs to come help him right now or he's going to die. And he's dead. So, that was a situation where I think he played it pretty well. Pretty aggressive. I think he actually could have been better off if uh, he would have relocated. Uh, that way, he was a little bit safer when he was coming out of his ult because of how close he was to the enemy there. As you saw, 
Enemy killed him in his ult, saw where he was ulting from, the Sova didn't go to help him, and he died there. So I think in that situ situation, XCR played that pretty nicely, um, but just, you know, being a little more safe with the ult. I think he could have waited another second or two, relocated, and he wouldn't have died there, and they would have lost the round most likely. All right, so we're starting to pistol round off on defense. Uh, looks like XCR will be playing over towards A, holding an aggressive angle. Now he's going to make his way back through spawn up one. He's going to break the glass in the window and make his way over to B. It looks like the enemy team is heading to B right now. Finds one close mid, the flash, and gets killed through a flash. Not, not his fault. Um, definitely, I would run with gun out whenever I'm crossing mid there, just because they didn't have mid control. So I think that even though he That's played that pretty well game. with the flash, probably the game. I think he still probably should have won that fight, because I, I, I think he should have had his gun out the entire time. Um, whenever I cross through CT, I'm always worried about the players in mid who might be in market or something. Um, this guy ha it happened to be a little bit closer than that, but nonetheless, definitely, definitely uh, want to run with your gun out when you get to that point. All right, picking things up here. After that pistol round loss, XCR flanking through mid right now, walled off by Jet in a 1v3. Let's see what he's able to do. So right now, you just want to try to do some damage. Get a kill, maybe get two, maybe get a gun. All right, ends up going down to the Sova, uh, to the Sage, sorry. Not bad. Um, yeah, just really not much you can do there. In, in order for those kind of flanks to work, you have to be moving quicker. And unfortunately, in this situation, they do go down, and they're now on match point. Thank you, Jet. <laughs> all right let's start off this gun round here round 15 potentially match point let's see what happens um once again the aggressive hold here what enemy jumps up with the self that? boost xtr is unaware that that is a possibility and he's dead so uh, okay. what do we learn that's here new. one yeah, he played new. the angle fine he just didn't know that that was a new boost now he does and he'll know that for the future this is something that is a big problem for the lower ranks, um, not for XCR in general, but just for, for people, especially like gold and below, they're not familiar with all the angles of what can happen where they're playing because they just don't have the map knowledge yet. So that's why it's so important why people always stress, you know, increasing your map knowledge, you know, really walking through these maps because situations like that can happen where you're, there could be a self boost, guys on top of a wall, you don't expect it, awkward angle, and you end up dying. All right, starting things off here, round four, 15, 16. Nice kill there by XDR. He's got to finish this thing off, though. Right now it's a 3v3. Jet behind him. Fit Last bullet kill. Great kill there. Nice to dodge this Ray's ult. Let's see what he can do. Runs into sight. Gets the kill while in ult. That's beautiful. So, in this situation, Phoenix should always be able to beat the Ray's because of exactly uh, what you just saw. Um, the yeah, Ray's is it's not like going to be able to kill probably. both him and his ult with one rocket. So that was a perfect trade-off there. You trade your ult to be able to kill her. Um, the Rays actually played that really poorly. XCR yeah, played that perfectly. That's exactly what you want to do there. You want to get aggressive. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to let her hunt you down. You don't want to let, let her play a ring around the rosy um, to wait out your ult. You got to get aggressive there. He did, and that's why they won yeah, the round. Finally did. All right, XCR playing in heaven right now. Gets flashed. Falls back to cover. Gets smoked off as well. No one is on site. So they gave up full site control. And um, one thing I would say here to XCR is that Whenever you're rotating around and falling back and playing very passive, if you're going for retakes, fine. But particularly blushing, on this A bomb site, I really like playing and having a person on site at all times. Nice kill there by XCR, though. Let's see what's going to happen. Could this player be under heaven? Nice, nice, nice. Looks like they were on site. So, great job there by XCR to flash out, but. As you saw, the enemy team was able to get a pretty much a free plant there. Um, I would like to see him play more on site in these situations. Uh, he he seems to really like heading back oh, towards heaven. Gone. But if you play on yeah. site and you have another teammate in heaven or in tree, I think that, that generally works better as it forces the enemy team to flush you out, um, allowing your other your your teammates essentially to get the better angles and to take good fights. You got a side jet. All right, picking things up here in round twenty. XCR is playing inside of a window Molly, towards smoking, A, smoking, smoking, off, smoking off tree. Tree is now completely lost. The enemy team can be in there wherever they want to be. One's here, one's Jet here. also on heaven. So one's once again, both split. playing roughly the same kind yeah, of position. No one's on A to actually be able to stop the push if they choose to smoke, which they did not. 
Jet gets a kill, but ends up getting traded out by the enemy jet with an op. All four players on site, uh, two, visible two. through the map. Jackie, if you raise me, I but unfortunately, nice. the opera takes out XCR. Now, I like the play there. I like the angle. That's a really good angle to play I'm for people coming through me main. Unfortunately, he goes down. Let's see what he's able to do here. All right, so he's going to break this. I think he's probably going to ult. Enemy Sage just sprinting around. Jet, jet. Fucking Finds the location of the jet. Knows the player's on site. He knows the player's on site right now. Let's see what happens. He's on site, under site, under site. Last All right, so he ends up game. dying. My question to XDR, did you not see that guy when you came out with, of tree with your ult? Um, that's voice. an easy call. That's an easy kill. He shouldn't have died there. Thankfully, his team was able to finish it off, but that's when he's oh. probably shaking his head out if he ever watches this back because uh, he did see that player on site. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> I guess he didn't. <laughs> just going everywhere. All right, enemy team it. looks like they are pushing into A. Nice headshot there. One Starts one spraying. More. Uh, interesting spray control. I would call it uh, subpar. Lit, lit. And then goes down to three, Sage. So, three. a lot of repeaks there by XCR. Nice, it looks dude. like he's aggressive. He wants to get kills. Um, but I think in that situation, he just plays off his teammate. Um, less the teammate, you know, off them as they come Hell through, yeah. plays off those shots. Instead, he sticks his whole body the out there and ends up dying um, in an aim duel with the enemy Sage. So, oh, yeah, I get the idea. Bad. Just, unfortunately, the aim wasn't there to follow it. Yeah. All right, XCR rotating through mid right now. Nice pick. Let's see what he's able to do. So, currently smoked off, tab alt tabs out of the game. An interesting decision, but gets a kill while the screen is, is, is oh unavailable to he's us. Hurt. All right, getting aggressive now, re-peaking a few times. He's going to get ulted, so let's see what he does here. He knows that Breach is on site, knows someone's now in B main from the question mark. Nice, Breach nice, is nice. dead. 2v4. B tons, B tons, B tons, scopes 111, in 111. and dies. You can shock dart her. Oh man, in that situation, you know I would have loved to have seen the teammate nice, peek nice, with nice, him nice. to trade it out instantly. Thankfully, they still are able to win it. But you know, once again, the scope in mid fight. I don't know about that. Okay, XDR, I would like to see you just yeah, just freaking just turn that corner and hit fire that baby. But either way, I think you know, call. Hey, let's peek. Peek with your teammate. Make sure you get the trade there because that could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> Breath. They smoked me off catwalk. All right, XCR playing towards cat this round. Ends up getting That's a nice kill there on the enemy sage. They this is the first time we've actually seen him play cat, um, which is a super important part of the map because this stops the A splits and really, really helps your team take mid control. But they are playing mid passively, so that's probably why he's not playing there. So just saw a bunch of players towards mid because of that They're Sova arrow. Let's see what he wants to do. All right, he's going to start rotating, giving up cat. Rotate back. Does call it out, though. Leo, let the team know. Okay. We're going towards there, I think. And let's see. So he's going to ult now from back tree near window, running towards cat. One's on cat. I just shot him in the head. Hello. Unfortunately, gets killed there by the breach in his ult. Now, on that turn, I think he should have been fine just using a flash. Um, I would like to see more flashes from XCR in general, actually. I think he gets a little too conservative with them. They're cheap, you know, use them. Um, I always struggle dealing with enemy Phoenixes ulting whenever they flash me. Um, so I really, really, really would have liked to have seen a flash there. I think he probably kills that breach, no problem. One more, one more. It's a nice killer. At least he's able to take one out at the end. That's really important. Um, one thing you guys will learn the more you play this game is that sometimes one kill is all it takes to sort of turn around, uh, turn a round in your favor. And he was able to get that kill there, which was big. I, I think it was definitely possible to get the spray transfer onto the other. But nonetheless, um, pretty nice kill there. Just unfortunate he couldn't kill the other one. And that is the game. Two rounds, I think, on attack. Excuse me, on, on yeah, on attack. So not bad, bringing it back to 10, but let's go yeah, over I, sort of my conclusions to That's this really and, and kind of sum this thing up. All right, guys. So to sum this thing up and, and sort of my thoughts to XTR and everyone watching is, first of all, good play overall. Um, obviously, things didn't get tough when you go down that many rounds, but to just even be able to pull through like that was pretty impressive, bringing it up to 10. What's really important, though, for XCR to remember in all Phoenixes is that your flashes are your key to winning, um, and they are going to win you so, so many aim duels, even at range. It doesn't matter, but particularly when you're in your ult. 
I think it's really, really important that you're flashing corners, especially in rounds that matter a lot. Don't die with flashes left. You know what I mean? You want to be using them as much as you can. Next, I would say to make sure that your team understands the importance of mid on ascent. Um, you definitely don't want to constantly be grouping up in one spot on the map. In particular, if you don't have a cipher to throw traps down to, you know, at least let you aware of any flanks. In this situation, I saw quite a few times at attack where XTR and his whole team were just sort of grouped up and they get crunched and, and cornered and just sort of out aimed because they don't have anywhere to move. Other times, no one flanked them, but the enemy team probably had the information to know exactly where they were. Another thing I would say is that, well, XTR's aim is very good and probably definitely above average and, and better than most people watching this video right now. Um, there are times, I think, where he gets a little too over-aggressive, and because of that, he ends up dying unnecessarily. Um, oftentimes, I think he could probably have fallen off, waited to play off the shot of um, a teammate or of the opera on his team, and then taken to fight. I think that would have served him much better in a lot of situations as well. One more thing I do want to say is that his play through smokes were pretty good. Unfortunately, early on, we saw that one where his flash ended up blinding him, but I would still like to see him work more closely with his brim, um, setting up smokes and abilities, for, uh, you know, opportunities, I should say, for him to flash through them. One of Phoenix's biggest upsides is that he can sit in a smoke and flash out of it without being blind. Really, really important there. Same thing he can do with his firewall. I would have liked to have seen that a little more coming out of XTR. But guys, with that being said, overall, great game from XDR. I hope you learned something new. I also hope you check out the video he posts on his channel of my gameplay. That would be awesome. If you do, I would really appreciate that. Make sure you subscribe to him. He's a great guy, great player, makes some great videos. Link is in the description. And honestly, I think we should do some more VOD reviews in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, is there anyone you want to see me do a VOD review of next? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy and peace.